Good afternoon. I'd like to call to order the Oklahoma City Metropolitan Area Public Schools Trust meeting. The first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the November 21st, 2017 Oklahoma City Metropolitan Area Public Schools Trust meeting. Motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Second. Sure. We'll vote. Oops, oops, sorry. Motion passes. The next item on the agenda is to approve the Suburban School District application for funding. Mr. Todd. Thank you. Uh, this is an application by Putnam City Schools for Stadium School Board, $235,273.15. The reason for the odd number is this is the remaining amount of money in their account. <clears throat> so this takes them to zero as far as the suburban school funding. This leaves three schools, Piedmont, Luther, and Mustang, who still have funds available. They have been contacted, and we anticipate them sending in their request before the end of the year as contractually required. Great. Are there any questions? We had, uh, had no questions, but well, there was uh, what's left over. Is there money left over besides the allocated to the schools? Money in the suburban school? No, in the... Uh, in, in the whole program? Yes, sir, there is some, and we are preparing a report for you okay. at the next meeting. Oh, the next meeting? Yes, sir. Okay. We will summarize all of that. What I intend to do is summarize all the projects that we have completed and, and where we are at the end. Okay, there's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we'll vote. Motion passes. I know Mr. Percent, uh, Anthony would be very happy to see that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll share that information. Uh, the next item is item four, to adopt a resolution revising policy for the investment of municipal funds in the custody of the city treasurer and authorizing the city treasurer to perform investment and in banking services for the Oklahoma City Metropolitan Area Public Schools Trust. Mr. Todd? As the, the title implies, it's a policy for investment in municipal funds. I, I really can't answer any questions about that, but Jason Martinez, the Assistant City Treasurer, is here today if you have any questions on this. Are there any questions from the Trust on this item? Why, why are we looking at this? That's what's having to do with us. I'll ask Jason just to quickly summarize it for you. All right. My name is Jason Martinez, and I'm an assistant to Bob Ponkilla, the city treasurer. And on August the 1st, the city council adopted this revised policy that you have before you. And we're now getting it adopted by the various trusts. Uh, so we're just one of many trusts that have to say yes to this. I'm we're just sorry. one of many several trusts that have to agree to this? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Um, OC, OCMFA, OCPPA, um, I know the river redevelopment has already approved this policy. Uh, uh, okay. I and there's it. two major changes to the policy. Okay. Um, we are adding the Federal Home Loan Bank letters of credit as an acceptable instrument for insuring or collateralizing bank deposits. Um, you may ask what is collateralizing the bank deposits. It's basically insurance above and beyond what the FDIC currently provides on your deposits. Um, you might ask what letters of credit are. Letters of credit are basically a promise to pay by the Federal Home Loan Bank. If the Federal Home Loan Bank member bank, J.P. Morgan, was to go bankrupt or overnight, that's not going to happen. But uh, your deposits are with J.P. Morgan, and we're required by state statutes to keep those deposits collateralized, and uh, this is what that letter of credit will basically basically accomplish. Um, it is notable to point out that the uh, it is allowed, the letter of credits are allowed by the state statutes, and the other change is that we're clarifying what the treasurer does, the role that he performs. We're not giving him any new powers or uh, say anything new in the policy. We're just kind of clarifying it to maybe 
be a little bit more specific about exactly what his role is in deploying bank accounts and such. So I'll take any other questions. I think Patrick is making the motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Anthony. We'll vote. Thank you very much. Mr. Klaus? <clears throat> yes, Madam Chairman, members of the trust. Um, construction continues on the classroom and gym project at Cesar Chavez Elementary. And as Mr. Todd mentioned, the last three suburban school districts, Luther, Mustang, and Piedmont, we expect to get our uh, formal request application um, from them by the end of December. Um, the plans are still in progress on the renovation at FD Moon Elementary. We expect to have 60% complete drawings submitted next week. And the um, engineering firm is in design on the improvements at the Capitol High School uh, roadway parking lots and storm sewer project. And we expect that uh, preliminary design to be turned in in January. Our next trust meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, December 19th. Thank you. Any comments from trustees? S staff? There's no citizens, so uh, no comments. We're adjourned. Thank you, everyone.